Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. Wanted to get on here today and talk about inexpensive skincare that I love. I have recently gotten very passionate about inexpensive skincare and so much of what I love right now is inexpensive and good. So I'm gonna jump right into this and I'm gonna start with cleansers. For a first cleanse, I have one. And this is pretty new to me, but I already know I love it. It's an oil cleanser by Hada Labo. Y'all, this takes my makeup off as good or better than my MAC and it's half the price. This is 200 milliliters for $16.99. I love this. It feels like a nice rich, well I'll show you. It feels like a nice rich oil and I can get all of my makeup off, including my eye makeup with one pump. So this should last a nice long time for half the price of my MAC, which I believe was $35. I love my Hada Labo cleansing oil. Okay, next I'm gonna move on to cleansers that are my favorites for a second cleanse. And I only have two to talk about because when I found the Cetaphil, I really quit looking. This Cetaphil's as good as anything that I have used. It's as good as my Obashi. It's as good as, yeah, pretty much anything. It gets everything off. Now, if I use just this, I would have to double cleanse. But that's pretty much anything. That would be my Obashi, be anything. This smells nice, it's gentle, it doesn't strip my skin. Why look further? <laughs> Love my Cetaphil. Okay, next, one that Ellis for a Living sent me, this Trader Joe's All-in-One Cleanser. I use this in the morning. Again, if I was just using this at night, I would have to double cleanse with it like anything else. But this is so gentle. It does not strip my skin. I love it. Okay, next, toners. Dawn's Life Over 40 sent me the Dickinson's Toner, the Hydrating Toner. It has a nice, fresh scent. It is beautiful. I love the soft scent of this. Okay, next, an acid toner. The Ordinary Glycolic Acid 7% Toning Solution. This has a pH of 3.6. I don't really know what that means, but I will tell you, when I use this, it is so active. It makes my face as pink as my Tarte Tingle, which my Tarte Tingle is a 10%, but that's a mix, and I don't know the pH of it. This feels about as active as that and leaves my face nice and pink. This is so active. I use this, I would say, two to three times a week. If you're looking for one, this is an inexpensive risk for you. I don't remember what I paid, but I bet it was under 10. Okay, next, another product I'm relatively new to and in passion with. It's the Ordinary Azelaic Acid, 10%. 10%. Heard about this from Ellis for Living. I'll tell you why I love this. It evens up my skin texture like nothing I have tried since hydroquinone. Obashi. I can't use hydroquinone because it hurts my eyes. I loved it, but I can't use it. It gives me eye pain. This evens up my skin texture so fast. When I have skin tight right here, I have a sunspot that comes out every time. I've always taken it away with hydroquinone. The prescription strength hydroquinone. Well, now that I can't use that anymore, I thought I'm gonna have to get that lasered. I used this twice and it faded out so much. Now that I've been using it longer, about a month, this is totally gone. Y'all, this is so good. I already have a backup of it and I'm about to start using this on my hands and my chest. Okay, next, I'm gonna go ahead and include my vitamin C. This is not a drugstore, but when you're comparing the price of vitamin C's, it's not like SkinCeuticals, which is like $100, or Skin Medica around $100. This is a little over $20. I get this from Timeless, and I love it. Vitamin C is just supposed to be a good antioxidant for the skin. I love the smell of it. I love, I love the way it makes my skin feel and look. And yeah, this is my first step every morning. And I love my Timeless Vitamin C. Okay, next, I love my Ordinary Niacinamide. This is a B vitamin. It brightens. It's supposed to tighten pores. Y'all, when I first started using this it felt active it felt really active I don't feel it anymore but I still like it I think it clar clarifies my skin and makes it better I love that okay next also from the ordinary the lactic acid 10% I love this it's nice and thin it doesn't leave a residue on my face I love the lactic and it makes my face nice and pink it's nice and active I also love the Ordinary AHA 30%. And if I'm talking about an Ordinary, it's under $10. This is as active as my Exuviance Peel Pads and my Drunk Elephant Baby Facial. I put this on, I think you're supposed to leave it 10. I thought it was 20. My face after I use this is nice and pink. I usually use this once a week and the Drunk Elephant once a week because that has different kinds of acids in it. But I could use just this twice a week. 
I just kind of splurged on the drunk elephant, but this is lovely. You'll feel that one. It is. It leaves my face nice and pink. Okay, next, a retinol, a an inexpensive retinol. I will tell y'all, I have not found a an inexpensive retinol that I like for my face. I've tried two by the ordinary. I tried the Granative Retinoid Two Percent. This is not near strong enough for my face. It's perfect for my neck. So I do use this on my neck and I love it. Then I tried the 1% in squalane and this gives me little bumps because of the squalane. So I tell you all that because these would be good to try for inexpensive retinols. And if you know of an inexpensive retinol that you love, let me know that because I'm on the hunt for a good one. Then I'm also including tretinoin in here because if you think tretinoin is too expensive, because it is expensive in the United States and I think in Europe, However, there are people that get these from pharmacies in India. You can get this very inexpensive from pharmacies out of the country and Case of Beauty. I believe this one's from Case of Beauty and we pay very little for it. Not everybody wants to use it, but if you do and don't think it's in your budget, I'm gonna link some places that are less expensive. Okay, next, some oils. Y'all, one of my absolute favorites, and I have the Drunk Elephant Marula. I have a Clarence Lotus Oil. I have a lot of beautiful oils. This one is the one I'm reaching for every night. It's a resveratrol because this is an antioxidant and it has an oily consistency. I, I, I love this at night as my last step on my dry parts. I love this in the morning as a luminous primer. Hold on. That's one drop and it spreads and spreads. One drop does every dry part on my face. Another drop does my entire neck. This just feels as good as anything upper end I have. I also love, this is under 20, Derma E Rose Hip and Cranberry. I heard about this on Don's Life Over 40. And I love the soft scent of it. That is just beautiful. And this also is a vitamin A oil. Then I also love the Desert Essence that Ellis for Living told me about, this 100% pure jojoba. This is great for your hair. It is also great for your skin. I heard this is the closest oil to what your body produces. I may be making that up. I love it on my hair. I love it on my skin. This was very inexpensive on Amazon. Okay, next, some moisturizers. And I don't have just a whole lot of moisturizers because honestly, I don't use a whole lot of moisturizers. I always reach for an oil first. But I always keep Embryolise. A lot of makeup artists carry this in their kits because it's a cleansing cream. It's a moisturizer. If you put this on right before your makeup, it's supposed to act like a primer. Cuticles, this does it all. And I also love the CeraVe because this is not heavy and it has so much good stuff. This is nice and light, but it does a lot. It's like between a cream and a lotion and it feels kind of watery. If you haven't tried that, that has so much good stuff. Ceramides and maybe niacinamide. It is a staple. It's like a good utilitarian, pick it up, put it on, it does it all. And for something heavier, this Hada Lobo that Dawn's Life Over 40 sent me, this is a beautiful cream. It's kind of light and watery. I have to be careful with this because it has hyaluronic acid in it. However, for most people, that's a good thing. It's just a nice watery gel, kind of like the Clinique Moisture Surge. That is nice, y'all. Okay, next for sunscreens. Y'all, my favorite sunscreens are less expensive sunscreens. The Nivea Sun Protect Water Gel. I can use two full pumps of this and it just soaks into my skin. I love this. I would never need anything other than this. And I get two bottles of it for maybe 25, so one bottle would be under 20, I believe. And then I love the Neutrogena Ultra Sheer Liquid. Just at the drugstore, the Neutrogenas, I don't know that you can beat them. This is great, doesn't add a white cast. It's not heavy on my face. My makeup goes on fine after it. I don't know why I would need anything other than Neutrogena. And then the Biore, um, the Biore Aqua Rich, and I don't have that because I'm not letting myself replace, I'm making myself use my backups up. That is a great SPF. The Biore and um, this one are probably my top drug stores, but I don't know why, because the Neutrogena is just as good. Okay, then for mists. Mists that you might think are more expensive, and they're really not. The Mario Badescu, $7 for a pretty good size spray. The green one has aloe, 
and green tea, I think. And they have a pink one that's more of a rose water. It's lovely. Those are nice for $7. What I have been using is the Caudalie. I just have fallen in love with this because I like that you just hold it down and it's just a nice mist. This is what I've fallen in love with, $10. It's at Sephora, but it's $10. Okay, next, cleansing wipes. I love the cleansing wipe, y'all, and I don't use them to remove my makeup, but I like to have them around to clean up makeup messes. I love the Neutrogena. I, I know a lot of people um, don't like the Neutrogenas. I love them. I also love the Simples. I'm out of them right now, but these are super nice. I love them. Heard about this from Francis Happiness Sparkles. I love the Cetaphil wipes. I keep these with my nighttime skincare to clean my hands off and, you know, anything that I might get too close to my eyes. Love the Cetaphil. Another one I love but I don't have is the Garnier. I love those wipes. So, I love my wipes from the drugstore. And those are all my favorite inexpensive skincare products right now, and I love them. Y'all tell me your favorite drugstore or inexpensive skincare that you're loving so I can pick it up and love it with you. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like and subscribe. Leave comments and questions down below, and I'll talk to y'all soon. Y'all have a good day. Bye.